Hey, I'm going to take you all for a walk through Keystone Heights, Florida's downtown, and we're going to go all the way from the downtown to Keystone Beach and see what it's like. You're going to see what this what this uh, main road is, also the shops that are there, and a little bit of what Keystone Beach is like. And we're going to get to it all in three. Hey, first off, where is Keystone Heights, Florida? Take a look at this map. As you can see, everyone knows pretty much where Jacksonville is. Well, Keystone Heights is located in Clay County. And as you can see, Clay County that's outlined in this map is adjacent to Jacksonville, which is Duval County. So we're really, Clay County's part of the Jacksonville metro area, and the Keystone Heights is in the southwest corner of that, that county all the way down. So it's really on the far outside of the Jacksonville metro area. Now let's zoom in so we can take a look, closer look at Keystone Heights downtown itself. As you can see on this map right here, where Keystone Heights is, I'm going to be starting here at State Road 121, State Road 21. Now, of course, this map is off. That's why you need someone like me to guide you through this. Right there it says there's a Taco Bell on that corner, but in reality, it's a Dunkin' Donuts. And then we're going to walk along what is South Lawrence Boulevard, which is State Road 21, all the way down here to Keystone Beach. All right, here we are starting at State Road 100 and, and 21 and State Road 21. Now, State Road 21, as you're in the Keystone Heights city limits, is referred to as South Lawrence Boulevard. Now, check out behind me, see? That's not a Taco Bell, that's a Dunkin' Donuts, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna walk through all the way down to, um, to the uh, Keystone Beach, just see how easy it is to walk through the town and what it's like walking through this small town. Okay. As you see right here, we've got a doctor's office, hair salons, and then I'm going to show you something else that's pretty neat. Here across the street is a place called Keystone Gifts and Guns. Now it's pretty neat in that Okay, if you want some guns, they've got a pretty good selection of guns and ammo and the gun safes and all that, but they also have a lot of other stuff. they got kayaks and other things for the lake, they've got home decor, all kinds of gifts and things. I mean, it's a place i really got to keep my wife out of because she'll buy everything, but it's a really neat place and it's worth checking out if you're here in the Keystone area. Okay, now we'll keep on walking down the sidewalk here and you can see all the different stores and here I'll just kind of give you a look at what's going on down the road here see over on the left we have a place called Clyde's Cafe which is a pretty cool uh, restaurant to eat at and there's also a pizza and ice cream shop here on the right and this pizza and ice cream shop right here They've got a parrot that's outside, and I think that parrot's name is Frankie. I don't know if he's gonna talk to us. Nah. Sometimes I walk, sometimes I'll walk by and I'll hear him talking. So he does talk. Oh, there he goes. That was a big scream. <laughs> that was, or maybe it was somebody else. Hey, something else I wanted to let you know about these places here is that they redid all the Keystone Heights area with uh, new street lights and the sidewalks and check it out all of them are ADA compliant sidewalk ramps all the way down and we can take and it'll take us all the way to to the beach and it should be like that all the way to the beach and then they got these nice signals here for people to cross you want We'll cross the street here because I want to show you something else that's not exactly right downtown, but it's one of my favorite places and a nice, nice place. And it looks like across the street here we got the gas station, and the gas station is pretty, pretty crowded right now uh, because even though it's a beautiful day right now, um, actually tomorrow at this time, man, it's going to turn to crap the weather. Uh, we got that um, hurricane iron out there and we are actually in the middle of the cone zone coming up through here and what that means is we'll probably we won't get the hurricane here where we're at but we'll probably get a good tropical storm so everyone's kind of prepping a lot of places closing early here check out here 
here's a uh, daycare center. It's not what I was going to show you, but might as well mention it while we're here. Just up here a little ways. What we got is this Ace Hardware. Now you see they're pretty busy today here. <laughs> it's you know Tuesday afternoon. They're packed. People getting supplies for the hurricane. And I, I tell you what, that uh, that Ace Hardware store is probably one of the best Ace Hardwares in the country. And now I'm going to take you over to what my favorite spot is. All right, here's my favorite. It's called Alfie's Liquors. <laughs> Liquor store. That's right here, right on the corner. Like I said, it's only a block off the, the main path. We can go through this little alleyway here to get through. I tell you what, if you're into adult beverages, you can't beat this place. For a small store, I can't believe the selection they got of everything, no matter what it is you like. Now we take a look at the gas station, like I was telling you. They're lined up. What we're going to do is we're going to go back out to where I left off when I came off. Like I said, I just came a block off the off the uh, main road here just to show you those those places. We're going to continue our walk going down to the Keystone Beach. You know they did a real nice job once we get back out here on the um, on the South Lawrence Boulevard because they. What they did was they put in, like I say, these uh, sidewalk ramps, these crossing lights, and then they also did a nice job putting hey! in these street lights. All these street lights and all that. Hey, you, there's some folks there. <laughs> all right. Every, everyone wants to be a star. Everyone wants to be a star. And then uh, what I wanted to go back to was they put these street lights up. Really nice. Check them out. They're all up there. No, no wires above ground. All underground. And then just look at some more of these stores and stuff around. And then across the street right there is a gym. And I tell you what, uh, I, you know, after making this walk down to the beach, I. <laughs> I find out how much out of shape I am and I really need to go to that gym. But I tell you what, it gets pretty crowded. This brick building, that's actually where my YouTube studio is in that brick building that we're just past there. And uh, you know, just, just before we get too far into this, because we're about halfway down to the beach, just to let you know, uh, my name's Tom Kerr. I'm just a regular guy here in North Florida. But I happen to be a real estate agent, and I get a lot of calls from people to see these videos. They're looking to relocate to North Florida. Some people looking to relocate out. So if you're one of those folks and you're thinking about moving to this area, you know, just give me a call, text, shoot me an email. You see it there below, and uh, I love hearing from you. You know, I'll help you out. Doesn't matter whether you're looking to move here next week, next month, next year. You know, just hook up with me. Just look at some more some of these. Uh, some of these uh, other businesses around here we've got. Yeah, take a look. And then right up here is a, uh, is a pharmacy. Now, there's three pharmacies here in the Keystone area. You know, you've got your big chains, like the Walgreens, CVS, all that. But this one here is like an independent. And we'll see, we're going to cross, cross right here. And I like these independents. They're easy to they're easy to deal with. This one here is called North Florida Pharmacy. Almost got hit by that little Volkswagen there. He was wasn't slowing down for the pedestrians, right? You've got um, a few barbers and stuff. Some professional offices, law offices. Right there across the street's a law office. Right over here. It's a barber shop. And as we're approaching right now, we're approaching a place that's a physical therapy place. Yeah. Where folks go that they're injured or something like that. It's an aquatic physical therapy place. And it's it's called Lake Area Physical Therapy and Aquatics. And it's right here on the corner. Now, 
Also, while we're on this corner here, I think I'm going to take you off, off the street one more time. Um, because what we've got here is a, is a Clay County Library, the Keystone Heights branch. So I just want to show you, you know, how easy it is to get to. Uh, just follow the sidewalk. And we're right up here. It's just, like I say, it's like less than a block off of there. Someone got their bumper sticking over the sidewalk. That's okay. And there we go. There we are, the Keystone Heights Library. Now, you probably hear some noises behind me. All over there, right behind the library, right over here next to us is City Park. And that's... That's where they got a kid's playground and all that. So what we're going to do is we're going to head back out here on South Lawrence. We're going to go here and we're going to check out the city hall. You crossing the street? Come on over. All right, so we're, we're heading now, now to the beach. So we're going down there. Are you folks all? Hey. Now, where are you going to? We're going to the beach. Are you? All right, I'll meet you there. Now, what, what you drinking? Wendy's. Wendy's. All right. That's right. Across the street from where I was at, I was there at the at the Dunkin' Donuts. But across the street is the Wendy's. So, and it's no big deal walking down through town, is it? Oh, all right. That, it's good. All Good's right, man. Good seeing you all. All right. So we're gonna be down now. We're almost to City Hall. So we're about here. Now, right across from City Hall is a park. So, we we'll see that. Now, let me tell you about this park. Now, this park here, what used to be in that place was called the Keystone Inn. Okay? Now, that inn was built like probably in the 1920s, something like that. And over time, it did get dilapidated. But when people came down from up north to check out, wanted to stay here during the winters, they'd stay at that Keystone Inn. So, after they tore it down, then they decided to make a park out of it. Now, of course, here's the city hall. And something else I want to say while I'm still on the, on the, on the South Lawrence Boulevard, this whole path I've been walking right now, that this is a small town. So these small towns, they love having their parades. So they got the Christmas parade, the 4th of July parade. They close down this road and they, uh, and they got a parade. Yeah, the Christmas parade comes all down this road or the 4th of July parade. Now the beach that we're going to right now, and just to show you where we started all the way up there at State Road 121, you see you have those ADA compliant sidewalk ramps all the way here to Keystone Beach. Okay, and that'll take us up here to the parking lot. And what we'll do, we'll head over here. Whoops. Lost the camera there. We'll tighten it up. There we go. We're going to head over here to the... where you have the handicap parking if you were to drive. But that is where the ramp would go off. Now, they do have steps to go down if you don't need it. But if you're in a wheelchair or anything, then you're going to have this here. I'll show you the ramp. We're going to walk it right now. So here it is. And you see as you go through the gate and on down. And this ramp here takes you all the way down to like the picnic areas, but also to the bathrooms. So what we'll do is we'll follow this down. And it'll take right to the bathroom areas, and then also the pavilion. And as you can see, that ramp follows you right down there to the bathroom areas. Now as it goes, it'll take you all the way down here to where the, you fall right down to the picnic tables, or the smaller tables behind. Now here is the Keystone Beach area. You see they got the volleyball set up. 
nice area. Now this pavilion is all brand new. The old one lasted a long time, but they really did a nice job putting this together. And we can just take a walk down here and check out the beach. Now, this Keystone area has a lot of lakes and a lot of properties. Some of the most sought after properties are the properties that are here on, this is Lake Geneva. And if you own a house on here, I mean, it's, it's like gold. And also, uh, the other, there's another lake over Lake Brooklyn. But for the folks that don't live on the lakes, but they want to spend some time with the beach with themselves or the family. Then you got this and they've cleared off, as you can see, a nice beach area. And of course you've got the warning signs. You know, this beach, they don't have no lifeguards, but they'll have alligators that'll check, check out what you're doing. <laughs> Occasionally now, I don't know. I, have, you know, I don't come to the beach often because I happen to live on a lake. So, you know, I don't know how many gators they've seen here, but you know, we've got them in ours, so. And then, then what they got also here, I mean, they've just got loads and loads of picnic tables. So people will have like birthday parties here and stuff and events. Um, and of course the pavilion you can rent out for events. And then there's like uh, this old wooden, um, what do they call it? It's a jungle something here that's an area for the kids to play in. And then we come up the steps. Here's some kids out there now. Oh yeah, Geneva Jungle, that's what it is. Of course, because we're on Lake Geneva, so they call it the Geneva Jungle. Well, I'll tell you what. This has been a this has been a workout for me walking, and like I says, I hope hope there isn't too much wind noise. And you know, like I said, because we got that storm coming, so I hope the microphone didn't pick up. It's starting to get a little breezy. Like I said tomorrow it's going to be totally different here. Something else I wanted to point out that's behind City Hall. You've got the tennis courts and a basketball court. And then over there where you see that red car part, well, right next to it, there's two charging stations. So if you've got one of those electric vehicles, well, you can come down here to the park. You can also walk the opposite way. You come down here and park, and then walk into town and back. You can charge up your vehicle. So. And I don't think I need to go to the gym if I do a couple more of these videos. Hey, until the next walk, I'm out of here.